Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will discuss early payoffs of loans. Specifically, we will look at the following objectives. We will use the United States rule when prepaying a loan. We will find the amount due on the maturity date using the United States rule. And we will use the rule of 78 when prepaying a loan. Now let's look at the steps involved in the United States rule and let's use the United States rule for the prepayment of a loan. In order to do the United States rule, we follow the following steps. Step one, we find the simple interest due from the date the loan was made until the date the partial payment is made, and we use the formula interest is equal to principal times rate times time. Step two, we subtract this interest from the amount of the payment. Step three, any difference is used to reduce the principal. Step four, treat additional partial payments in the same way, always finding interest on only the unpaid balance after the last partial payment. Step five, remaining principal plus interest on this unpaid principal is then due on the due date of the loan. Now let's use these steps in prepaying a loan. The Second Avenue Butcher Shop financed a remodeling program by giving the builder a note for $32,500. The note was made on September 14th and is due in 120 days. Interest on the note is 9.75%. On December 9th, the firm makes a partial payment of $9,000. Find A, the amount due on the maturity date of the note, and B, the interest paid on the note. Now let's use the United States rule. From September 14th to December 9th is 86 days. Step one, we find the interest is 32,500 times 0 .0975 times 86 over 360, which gives us the simple interest is $756.98. Step two, the payment is $9,000, from which we subtract the interest $756.98, and we get $8,243.02 applied to the principal. Step three, we subtract $8,243.02 from the $32,500 value of the note and get $24,256.98 as our balance owed. Step four, we see that 34 days remain on the note. We calculate the interest on $24,256.98 at 9.75% for 34 days to get the interest due of $223.37. Step five, the amount due at maturity is the $24,256.98 plus the interest, $223.37, which gives us amount due of $24,480.35. The interest paid on the note is $756.98, this interest, plus the $223.37, giving us total interest of $980.35. Now let's look at the rule of 78 and use the rule of 78 when prepaying a loan. The rule of 78 says that unearned interest is equal to the finance charge times N divided by P multiplied by 1 plus N divided by 1 plus P, where N is the number of payments remaining and P is the original number of payments. Movie 6 Incorporated purchased several new movie projectors at a total cost of $12,200 with a down payment of $1,500. The company agreed to make 12 monthly payments of $945 each. Find A, the finance charge, and B, the unearned interest, and C, the amount necessary to pay the loan in full after the eight payments. F, which is the finance charge, will be the $1,500 down payment plus $945 payments times 12 payments subtract the original cost $12,200. So the finance charge is 
$40. In the number of payments remaining, after the eighth payment, there are four payments remaining. P is the total number of payments, which is 12. So the unearned interest is 640, which is F, times N divided by P times N plus 1 divided by P plus 1, which turns out to be $82.05. So the amount needed to repay the loan is $945 for each payment for the next four payments. Subtract the unearned interest, $8205 which gives us a repayment value of $3,697.95. In this section, we have looked at early payoffs of loans. Early payoff of loans is important in business as well as in your personal life. So you need to do these problems to look at how to do the rule of 78 and the United States rule to calculate your final payment when you have paid off a loan early.